Hey guys, what's up? Hitmar3 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64. In the last episode, we went through Course 5, and also Bowser in the Dark World, cleared up Course 5, minus one thing that we could not quite get yet, and got the key to the basement area where we'll be able to access some more courses. Before we do that, however, we're going to go ahead and get a couple of the secret caps that are in here. There might be a bunny rowing around here, we're going to ignore it, it's one of the castle secret stars, but we're going to go ahead and get both of the caps. The first one we're going to get is the Vanish Cap, and technically most people consider this to be the third one. The second one's actually hidden in Stage 6, so we'll be getting to it very shortly. But first we're going to get the Vanish Cap. So we're going to swim under here, and there's two pillars. If you read that sign over there, it basically says if you ground pound these two pillars one time each, if Mario can swim up, then the water will drain. And this drains not only the inside of the area, but it will also drain the moat outside of Princess Peach's castle as well. In doing this, you'll be able to access the Vanish Cap course, if I can get in there. So, all the blue blocks you find will become solid once you step on the switch. You'll disappear when you put on the Vanish Cap, so you'll be able to loot enemies and walk through many things. So yes, in particular, specific walls, etc. Once again, like the Wing Cap course, there are eight red coins. I am not going to be dealing with them in this video. They are technically castle uh, stars, so we will be getting them in the castle stars video. So I will be avoiding it for the time being. The Vanish Cap course is actually a little bit hard when you get to the end of it. I mean, the Vanish Cap itself really doesn't do much for, um, you know, this level. It's not like the Wing Cap where you need it to get through everything. There's one spot particularly needed for it, but this part right here is the hardest. Sliding and landing on this platform right here. You have to push forward on the directional to the right just a little bit, but not overly so. And it takes a little bit of practice to figure out, and it's very easy to mess up. I will completely agree with that. So we have stepped on that, and all of the blocks are activated. Uh, if you go in there, then it will just show you that's where the 8 red coin star will appear once you get it. However, you're free to bail out just like you are on the wing cap course, and you will not be penalized for it. It will just simply warp you out here, and you'll still be outside the castle, but you can get back in through the uh, lower portion here. That is how you get the wing cap, and then we're going to go get the uh, metal cap very shortly here. After doing that, we'll probably go back to courses 3 and 5 in order to get the stars there. And then that will be all we have to do for getting the caps. These are the last two. There's only three in the game. After that, there will not be a problem with having to go back through courses anymore. I do find it kind of funny that it's all the odd-numbered courses, though. It's like, the course you have to go back for are 1, 3, and 5. 2 and 4? No. And anything past this, it's just these first three. It's just kind of funny that that's the case, that it's all the odd-numbered courses that cause this problem. So let's go ahead and head into course number six, and go ahead and get that metal cap. So I am going to ignore the uh, mission for now that they're going to give me, but you'll notice that this does not quite look like a uh, typical painting, but we're going to dive right into the tar, ink, whatever it's supposed to be anyway, because it is course six, the Hazy Maze Cave. Welcome to Hazy Maze Cave. It is quite a pain. This is probably one of my three least favorite courses in the game. Right up there with numbers 8 and 13, Shifting Sandland, and um, Tiny Huge Island. I hate Tiny Huge Island with a burning passion. You'll see it when we get there. Luckily, it's pretty far ways away. And before you ask, yeah, I like Rainbow Ride. I like TikTok Clock, but I hate Tiny Huge Island with a burning passion. I'm going to go ahead and grab a 1-Up real quick. Not that I need it, but hey, you know, it's fun to have him around. Might need him for Tiny Huge Island, never know. A little bit of a trick also is if you fall very far, if you'd like to execute a ground pound before you touch the bottom, then uh, you will not take any damage from the fall. So, just a side note. Now this is actually where you're supposed to go for the mission, and we're going to be going to that star right there after uh, I get the hidden cap. You're going to be using Dory, which uh, is actually in this game, I know. This one's for you, Madam Wario, because I know she loves Dory. And in order to control Dory, you have to stand on whatever side of her you want. Like, if you want her to turn left, stand on her left-hand side. If you want her to go straight, just stand straight. Uh, you know, so on and so forth. The, the controls for her aren't really too hard. Whenever you want her to lower her head, ground pound on her, which sounds mean, but she'll be perfectly fine. Then get on top of her head, she'll raise her head, and then you can jump up here. This is the only one of the three caps that is actually hidden. The stage itself is hidden inside of a level. It's the only one. But this will take you to the course with Metal Mario. When you're metal, you can walk underwater, which is mainly what it's used for. You can also just kind of blitz and creep right through enemies. You don't even have to jump on top of them. There's a massive current going on right here, so make sure that uh, if you're not Metal Mario, get out of the water, because it's going to send you flying back there. And if you go back there, you're going back to outside of Princess Peach's castle. And you're going to have to go back through Hazy Maze, back through all this again. But there we go. 
There's the metal cap, would you like to save? Yes. And unfortunately, the only way of getting out of here, besides getting the secret star in the, you know, the castle secret star, which I'm not going to do yet, is... Did you get up there, Mario? Oh my gosh. Is to actually exit through this area. There's a one-up in that block if you wanted to know what was in there. But it drops you down in here, which is pretty much the exact same place the vanish cap will dump you. So now that we've collected both of those caps, we're just going to go ahead and uh, get the extra two stars that we we're not able to pick up. And I guess we're going to start with Jolly Roger Bay. We'll go in order for, you know, lack of order that there is. I can already tell this video will be much longer than the rest, and it has nothing to do with the caps. It's because we're also in Hazy Maze Cave. It's not one of my favorite levels. I'd say of the three ones that I hate the most, this one's the number three. Like, I don't hate it as much as Shifting Sandland or Tiny Huge Island, but it's, it's up there. It's definitely up there. So let's go ahead and head back into Jolly Roger Bay. Through the jet stream, this is the one that we passed up on earlier. And like I said, it is possible to do it without. Um, with both the ones in Course 1 and Course 3, it is possible to do it without and without glitching. The one for Course 5, no. But I'm just going to use this to get there a little bit faster. And the metal cap is actually inside of the uh, area where you had the treasure chest... Um, the treasure chest star, the one we had to get the four treasure chests. Not the one in the sunken ship, but the other one. It's actually just inside of here. Just gonna get our health back here. Now, I don't remember how far away it is, but I know it's definitely in here. Yep, there it is. Alright, now you're not going to get a lot of time with the metal cap. It seems like you don't get very much of the metal cap um, or the invisible cap. You get much more of the wing cap, in my opinion, than you do for this one. So you're going to have to make this very quick. And you can't walk very fast underwater when you're Metal Mario either. So you will have to make this relatively quick. You're just going to run right through that jet stream and jump to get your star. Now, if you swim it at a certain angle, it is possible to get that star, but like I said, that's not how the game intended for you to get it, that's not how I'm going to pick it up. So, let's continue on our merry adventure. Back to Course 5 to get the other one that we were not able to get before. I guess this is the side questing of the game, if you would like to call it that, but, you know, it's required for all the 120. It does feel like a little bit of a side trail, but eye to eye in the secret room. So, as I mentioned, I already told you exactly where this was. Whenever you fight the Big Boo, you're going through the exact same... Why did I go through this door? You're going through the exact same thing. The problem is, with this one, you are on a timer when it comes to this wall kick, and that's probably the thing that makes it the hardest, is because you're on a timer because the invisibility cap will not last you forever. So you're going to have to make this quick, and you're going to have to do it very carefully. So you're going to grab the invisibility cap. Don't step on that little square that looks kind of weird, because it's just going to make you fall through the floor, so fair warning. Jump up here, go through the door, and yeah, we got plenty of time. Go through this, and though you can't tell, let's go ahead and kill this boo, because I know he's going to get in the way. This is a giant Mr. Eye. You've seen him in a couple games, likely. Um, but what you're going to do in order to defeat him is just run around him while his eye is focused on you. You have to make sure he's focused on you. Once you do that, he'll obviously get dizzy, and then he will explode, and there's your star. The concept of beating the Mr. I is not hard. It's getting there that's hard, because not only do you have to do that weird wall kick, you're also on a timer. That's what makes that mission hard. So now that you've got 30 stars, you are able to challenge Bowser the second time, which is funny because technically, though, we had to get the secret caps. We haven't even done any of the courses in the basement, except for, you know, going through course 6 to get the metal cap. You could have 30 stars before getting the caps, too, if you were going for the 100 coins. In that case, we'd have 35, or if you weren't going for the caps before coming down here, then you would have, what, 33? So you'd still have a decent amount. Regardless, let's actually head back into Hazy Maze Cave here. And go do what the first mission intended for us to do. Swing Beast in the Cavern. Now, in Hazy Maze Cave, right off the bat, you're going to have two areas that are split right here. It's just teaching you how to do a long jump. It's not hard. 
there are a couple areas in the cave where it's very easy to die. This is kind of one of them. If you fall down the center, you are gonna die. Kind of like a little whirlpool without being in the water. But for most of these missions, you are gonna want to start out by going to the left. I can think of at least three off the top of my head where that is the case. So luckily, this one-up will always be here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it again. See how many one-ups I can get by the end of this if I do the recording all in one sitting. We'll just see how many extra lives I get. You don't need the uh, metal cap for this. There is a metal Mario mission in here, but uh, it's not for a little while. So we need to find Dory again, and she's probably in the exact same spot or very close to it. Yep, sure enough. And we're going to use her in order to get up to the center island, so just navigate her until you can get her close to the center island. Ground pound, get on her head, she will lift you up, so you can stand on mountains, or in this case, get the star. Which I, I know the lyrics are, you raise me up, you know what I mean. And there we go, first one down. Elevate for eight red coins, yeah I know, they're giving you an eight red coin mission this early, kind of weird. This is one of the ones you actually will have to go to the right hand side for, maybe that's why they put it earlier, you know, so you'd split up and get a little bit, you know, a better idea of what the Haze Maze Cave looks like. But the eight red coins are in fact here. Let's go ahead and ground pound here. Now, the Arid Coin Mission, they're all pretty close together. It's just staying on the platform that they want you to that's the hard part. So, you are going to have, um, they're going to be split up into two sections. Four of the red coins are going to be in here, and four of them are going to be just above you. So you're going to have to use this platform, and depending on what arrow you step on is going to depend on where the platform moves. Most of these red coins are hidden inside of these blocks right here, and you can just break them by punching them. It's, it's not that hard. I say that, and then I fall off by punching it from the recoil. If you don't stand on it for long enough, it, that little platform will disappear, and once it disappears, it will go back to the starting point, so... Okay, I'm completely getting turned around here. There we go. Okay, there we go. But yes, the red coins are hidden in the blocks. As you can see, there's another one right there, and you can't see the block yet because the, uh, the coin will actually be shown before the block will. And this may not even be an even 4-4 split, it might be a 3-5 split, I'm not sure. Note that you can't just walk over these things to make sure you jump over them, because the game doesn't like them. Ah, there's the first coin, right there. You have to long jump, well, you don't have to long jump, but you have to navigate the platform to where you can jump and reach this one. It's the only one down here that's not actually hidden inside of a block. That's where the fourth one was. I remember now. It's been a little while. I did not do any practicing before this. I actually just picked it up and went. There was a time where I was seeing how fast I could run through Mario 64, and the results, if I'm going very fast, are kind of surprising on how fast I can do it. It's not like record time or anything like that, but especially not if I fall off like that. But, I mean, I, I can still do it in a decent amount of time. It's not amazing, but... <laughs> amazing. And we're in Hazy Maze Cave. We all have a bit of chug in us. Oh my gosh. I'm also failing like Chugga does sometimes, apparently. That'll work. So we need to now get to this little pole right here and just climb up it. And now we're going to have to do some platforming. There are two of the coins are right here, but the other two are kind of hidden out here, so you're going to stand on this platform and it's going to start moving around. Get used to seeing this because it's going to be in the next course as well, Lethal Lava Land, so expect to start seeing it. Just get used to having to navigate on it and work with the camera. Luckily, this isn't too bad. They're pretty easy coins to get. They're not hidden in blocks. You will have to punch that block out of the way or avoid it, but it's still not too bad. There will be bats in here. Um, as you can see, there's one right there. They might try to get in your way, but if they do, just ignore them. Usually they don't, so... Yeah, see what I mean? He, like, he's coming after me, but... You can bounce on his head, avoid him. You can long jump to the last two coins before the second one gets there. And the star is, of course, right in the center of the room, so... Very easy to find as well. If the camera would be so kind... And there we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm sorry. Not there we go. Here we go. 
So I'm not going to actually collect the secret star yet. If you are low on stars and you'd like to get another one, there is a toad in the room right here. Upon talking to him, if you go through all the dialogue, he will actually give you a star. Just just give one to you. There are three of them in the game, and there's one of them right there. Metalhead Mario can move. This is the one where you get to actually see Metal Mario in action. And since you can pick the metal cap up in this course, you know you don't have to worry about coming back to it later unless you just don't know where the metal cap is. Jump in. There we go. So yes, we are heading back down to the exact same spot, believe it or not. Not going to be doing quite the same thing. This one's a little bit different, fortunately. But we're going to go ahead and grab this. We need Metal Head Mario in order to activate a switch that's underwater. It's one that you have to stand on. So the only way to stand on it is by using Metal Mario. Just follow this little kind of underwater pathway, and it will take you straight to it. The timer's not very lenient on this one either, so you got to do it relatively quickly. But there you go. That will open up the door to right here, but the star is in plain sight, and you just have to pull off a double long jump in order to get this. Or you could just fall. That works too. I think that's the first time I've died thus far. I tried to do a long jump, and he just did a regular jump. That was lovely. I was hoping I could get much farther without dying, but I knew it wasn't going to happen, and I knew that for a fact that I was going to die in the final Bowser fight, because for whatever reason, I'm really bad at the final Bowser fight. Like, we'll get to him when we get to it, because it's going to be the last thing that I show, besides Yoshi, who is in this game. Hey! You know, just the little things like that, but it will be in the last episode. Would you stop throwing boulders at me? Not nice. I'm not Chris Redfield. I can't punch those. That ground pound trick really is helpful, because you really don't want to wait for that elevator. It's a pain. A little bit faster by long jumping before I get stuck in the water. Yeah, that, that took off a little bit of time, but not very much. There we go. It's not hard, Mario. Jeez. If you actually have to stop in between platforms and do, like, another running start to get it, it's fine. I just, like, try to show off, and I got greedy. And so I died. That was my own fault. Navigating the Toxic Maze. This one, I'm not a fan of. We're gonna have to go to the right. Navigating the Toxic Maze is kind of a pain. And I get this one confused with, uh, an amazing, uh, it's like an amazing emergency exit or something like that. Because the star for the beginning part is almost the exact same thing. And it's very easy to get the two confused. And in fact, I very well might. If it happens, sorry. So you're gonna go in here, down the right path, and you're gonna fall down this area where there is poisonous gas. So lovely. I'm sure Wario was here. But you can also use the metal cap to nullify the poison gas as well. You can maneuver as far as you want. Now, the amazing emergency exit is the door up there. The one we need to go to, I believe, is this one. If I get them wrong, I get them wrong. And it, it very well might happen. Avoid the little traps that they put you and give you right there, which is not really a big deal. A couple bats and some fire jets, but nothing too serious. And there's our star. You probably saw this one as well. It was on the other side. Because that other portion is where you go down to see Doria. And yeah, I did get the right one. Cool. I'm surprised I did that correctly. An amazing emergency exit. This is the one that's all... It is like, seriously, it's almost identical. It's very easy to get these two mixed up, which is why I'm surprised I did it correctly. It's kind of weird that the later mission is... The, oh, that was stupid. It's kind of weird that the later mission is the one that's, like, it's closer to you, despite being almost an identical path. It feels weird. It feels like the later one should take a little bit more navigation through the maze, but it doesn't. And that's probably why I get the two confused so easily. There we go. And we'll just go back down here. Grab this again, though I really don't need it. Kind of force the habit, I suppose. 
and we'll just do a little side jump up here. Really, the only difference between this star and the one that we just did is actually up here. They don't just give you this star like they did in the last one. You do have to work for it a little bit, but the, the thing that makes this any semblance of difficult is the camera. It has nothing to do with your actual ability. You're going to have to jump on these and climb, and I believe this gets you. Yeah, if you jump and hold the A button, you can hang on to some objects overhead. It's the same as grabbing a flying bird, which would be referring to the owl from Course 2. So you can grab onto this and hold down. Now, the trick with this is a combination of two things. One, being at full health will really help because that will go away. And that helps a lot in trying to figure out exactly where you need to go. Because the camera's not going to help you here much. You're going to have to hold down the A button this entire time and not let it go. And navigate over to the star. And this turn makes it very hard to tell exactly when you're supposed to. So use the camera as best you can in order to get it. And don't let go until you see the shadow on the ground or you just run out of platform. Once you do, you fall straight on the star. It's a problem. I know it's a problem. Trust me. I know it's a problem. Really, the thing that makes Hazy Maze Cave annoying, to be perfectly honest with you, is the 100 coin star. It's probably one of the most annoying. It, that's probably why I don't like this level, to be perfectly honest. Because the rest of it, for the most part, while it can be annoying at times, is not too bad. Okay, watch for rolling rocks. Now, we've seen these multiple times going through previous missions, like Metalhead Mario can move and, you know, etc. You see these rolling lo uh, logs. You see these rolling rocks. One of the stars is actually hidden right here. If you wall kick up this wall, it's right there. Yeah, I know. It's, it's hard to find, but once you find it, it's like the easiest mission in the level. It takes like, what, 40 seconds to get, maybe? Like, it's really easy, but that is it for Hazy Maze Cave, so I'm going to continue out. Once again, for those of you just joining us, I am holding off on the 100 coin uh, stars for each world. I am going to save them for a later time. So next time, we'll be going into this one, which is probably the one you saw first, Lethal Lava Land, which is, to be honest, probably one of my favorite courses in the game. But we will see you guys for that one next time. Until then, do some disco. Later.